Go for it. Okay. Well, hello. Uh, my name is Michael Rupp. I'm uh, an American, and I've been living in Japan for 26 years, uh, all in Kumamoto. I came in Kum came to Kumamoto in 1995. Um, in July of 1995, my hometown is in America, in Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's by the Great Lakes. There's the five Great Lakes, and one of those lakes is called Lake Erie, and that's my hometown. Uh, yeah, and uh, so... Yeah, what, what brought you to Japan in the first place? What brought me? An airplane, haha. <laughs> no, okay, um, sorry. I used to be a comedian. So actually, <laughs> um, I was always interested in Asia, and I had studied Chinese in college, so I, I knew Chinese, and I, as I was graduating university, I, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to work in Taiwan or Japan, and I, I applied for two jobs, one in Taiwan and one in Japan. And uh, I figured if one job said yes, I would go, and it, they both said yes, and then I had to think, which one do I want? And then I decided, let's try a new culture and a new language. So I applied to the, a job called the JET program, which is run by the Japanese uh, Munkasho. And uh, they sent me to Kumamoto to teach English in Amakusa. And I was teaching English in junior high schools and elementary schools in uh, what was called Ariake Machi in Amakusa. Wow, great. OK, can you uh, go into some things you really love about Japan? Well, there's a lot to love. Let's see, what do I love about Japan? So um, the culture is very interesting to me. It's so different, unique, and the people, the, uh, the, the kind of people, the Japanese spirit or whatever, uh, Japanese people, their work ethic, uh, their attention to detail. Uh, Japan is such a safe country. Um, it's uh, the people are polite. The food is very good and healthy. Um, I love so much about the culture. I love hot springs. Going to hot springs. Um, I love just the design. You know, tatami and shoji doors. I love all that stuff. I really love watching sumo. In fact, I just finished watching sumo yesterday. That was uh, exciting. Um, yeah, and I, I liked uh, martial arts as well. Uh, I studied some martial arts when I was younger. I did uh, karate, and kung fu, and other martial arts. What else do I like? Oh, language. I'm kind of a language geek, so I like the Japanese language. Yeah. Great. Is there anything you don't like about Japan? Don't like? Well, I mean, it's not all, it's not all sunshine and roses, is it? I mean, there are things. Um, I think one of the flip sides of Japanese are so diligent and precise is that if you have to go and do things like paperwork, like if, you know, the paperwork is quite uh, daunting. It just really kills me. And if I want to do something, I have to fill out all these forms and write my address here and write it here and write it here and go to the, go to the city hall and get this paper to prove that I am who I am and submit it with this thing and then put stamps on them and don't make a mistake because if you make a mistake you gotta start all over that kind of stuff gets tiring after a while you, you feel like okay do we need to be this detailed but maybe that's why Japan is so nice you know because they they're so precise so that, that part bothers me uh, that's one of the big ones I'd say have you had any uh, problems while living here? Problems? Well, let me see. I mean, it's sometimes troublesome um, because, you know, I'm, I don't have family here. So now I'm a, what they call a permanent resident. And uh, to become a permanent resident in Japan, you need to have a, a person, a Japanese person, sponsor you. You know, and uh, how do you ask somebody that's not family to sponsor you? So, you know, I ended up asking one of my students at an Eikaiwa I was teaching at, and he was kind enough to sponsor me for my permanent residency. But things like that, or problems like, uh, you know, when you're moving and you have to pay so much money, uh, you know, the shikikin and all that stuff ahead, and you have to uh, get, again, you might have to have a hoshonin or someone to, a guarantee. You need guarantors for everything you're doing. So sometimes I, I run into not big problems, but it, it's life is not so easy when you you don't have family here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I, I know, right? Yeah. So, uh, could you tell us a little bit about uh, your hopes and dreams for the future? Well, you know, um, I've been in Japan for 26 years and I really like it. So I really hope and dream. <laughs> I hope that I will stay here and retire here and, uh, you know, maybe even someday become Japanese. That, that could be something I would think about doing. Um, and to that end, I'm trying to improve my, uh, my Japanese, actually. So one of my, my goals is to uh, be able to uh, fluently write all of the commonly used kanji and the compounds uh, without looking, you know, be able to write them. So I'm practicing on that. So that's one of my near-term goals. Yeah, so basically, yeah, my dream is to become Japanese. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you very much for speaking with us, Mike. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good talking with you.